The Halos take two of three from Detroit. Minnesota takes two of three from the Tribe. And the Mudhens lose three of four to Charlotte. But ah, I love you guys and welcome into an all new edition of All Andy Alford right here on Clayfan 2. Three. I am your host, Andrew Alford, welcoming you into the program. Uh, we do two parts on Monday, like I always say. Uh, we cover the MLB stuff first, then we talk about the Mutt Hens and other sports. And we'll also, uh, today, on the first part of the show, we have some batting average statistics for you that you might be surprised about when it comes to the Detroit Tigers. Speaking of the Tigers, let's get into Tiger Town, where they were a loser yesterday afternoon, but we'll break down today, yes, uh, Friday's game. The Tigers were a loser 4-2. Jarrett Weaver gets a win. He goes to 11-7 with a 2.96 ERA. Justin Verlander gets a loss. He goes to 12-7 with a 3.81 ERA. Torrey Hunter, his 18th. Brandon Bosch, his 13th. Flutez gets the save, his 21st save of the season in front of 35,106. Game time, 2 hours and 47 minutes. Now, in game two, the, the Tigers were a uh, loser 10-1. Scott Casper gets the win. He goes to 8-9 with a 6.57 ERA. Jeremy Vonderbeek gets the loss. He goes to 6-7 with a 4.96 ERA. Aaron Ibar homered his fifth of the year. No homers for Detroit in front of 38,783. Game time, 2 hours and 49 minutes. Now, yesterday, the Tigers were a winner 9-4. Rick Forcello gets the win. He goes to 5-10 with a 5.74 ERA. Bell gets the loss. He goes to 1-3 with a 6.03 ERA. Game time, 2 hours and 51 minutes. 32,037 watch the game at Comerica Park. Now, tonight, the Tigers will open up a three-game set, excuse me, a four-game set with the Tampa Bay Rays. Tonight, it will be David Price on the hill. He is now 14-5 with a 2.82 ERA, taking on Armando Galarraga, who's 3-4 three and, three and four with a 4.32 ERA, 7.05 on FSN Detroit. Uh, before I get into the tribe, I want to talk about the batting averages. You're going to be surprised about this. All right. Going into tonight's play, Miguel Cabrera is batting a 343 average with 26 home runs and 93 RBIs. That's pretty good. Here's some of the worst, though. Gerald Laird is batting a 185. No home runs. Excuse me, three home runs, 16 RBIs. I did some research last night and came to find out that Max St. Pierre from the Toledo Mudhens right now is batting a 315. A 315! Now you're saying, Andy, that's the Mudhens, though. So this isn't the Tigers. It's not, it's not the Tigers. Well, if we're going on the route of calling the Mud Hens up, Rhymes, well, by the way, Rhymes is sent down, uh, Bosch, uh, Worth, uh, Sizemore, up and down. Why couldn't we call up Max St. Pierre? Give him a chance. Have Avila and send Lair down to retool his batting stance. Honestly. Uh, Casper Wells is up there. Well, Wells is sent down, actually, right now. Uh, Larish, Larish is gone. And you're f my favorite, and probably yours too, Johnny Peralta. Peralta right now is batting a 244, nine home runs, 47 RBIs. Yeah. You know, and I'm, I'm asking myself, I'm posing the question to you fans. When is the bubble going to burst? I mean, the honeymoon's got to end soon. And the Tiger fans who haven't seen Johnny Peralta and says, well, Johnny's the greatest, he's, he's awesome and everything, you don't know what you're getting into when you pick up Johnny Peralta. Nine times out of ten, he strikes out. The strikeout ratio for Peralta, so far, this season alone, he has struck out 75 times. Which is not that bad. It's not like uh, Austin Jackson, who is uh, struck out 114 times. 
Uh, the Indians were a loser this past weekend. They took on the Minnesota Twins. Uh, the Tribe was a loser Friday, 7-6. to six. Oh, they were a winner, 7-6. to six. Oh, yeah, because the idiot, Matt Lapora hit the game-winning walk-off home run. Perez gets the win. He goes to 1-2 with a 4.44 ERA. Gardner gets the loss. He goes to 2-7 with a 3.94 ERA. Kubel homered his 14th in front of 25,575 game time, 3 hours and 28 minutes. Now, Saturday, they honored uh, Kenny Lofton after the game, uh, before the game. Uh, he has been inducted into the Cleveland Indians Hall of Fame. Congratulations to you, Kenny. You deserve it. After watching you in 95 and 90 and 96, you totally deserve, this honor, deserve the honor. Uh, but they were a loser on Saturday, 7-2. to Carl Bovano gets the win. He goes to 14-7 with a 3.28 ERA. Kubo and Poffel homered. Carmona gets the lo- Busto Carmona gets the loss. He goes to 11 and 9 with a 3.90 ERA. No home runs for the Tribe in front of 27,638 game time, two hours and 47 minutes. Now the t- Tribe was a win- was a close to being a winner until the ninth inning. They lost five to four. Dinson gets the win. He goes to five and one with a 2.27 ERA. David Huff goes gets the loss. He goes to two and eleven with a 6.21 ERA. Matt Laporte is seventh. Jim Tomey is 14th in front of 17,000. 427, 2 hours and 43 minutes of the game time. Matt Katz gets his 28th save off the season. The Tribe is off today, but then we'll open up a three-game set with the Baltimore Orioles starting on Tuesday, and we'll preview that matchup for you tomorrow. Looking at the uh, American League Central standings, this is what it looks like. Chicago leads the division. They're 63-48, and 6-4 and four in the last 10. Minnesota is a half game out. They're 63-49, and 7-3 and three in their last 10. Detroit is 54 and 57, nine games out, nine games out. We're falling, we're sinking like the Titanic. Three and seven in our last ten. Kansas City is 47 and 64, 16 games out, five and five in their last ten. And Cleveland rounds out the division with a record of 47 and 65, 16 and a half out, five and five in their last ten games. Other scores in the major leagues yesterday. Tampa Bay was a uh, loser, one to nothing over Toronto. It was so close to another no hitter. This year, I think, is the year of the pitcher. We've had four no hitters. We had a close, perfect game. So, it's a shame, but we ha- could have had another perfect game yesterday. And they charged it a base hit and an error. Colorado eight, Pittsburgh four. The Mets were a loser five to six over the Philadelphia Phillies. Chicago, the White Sox three, Baltimore four, Milwaukee eleven, Houston six. The Reds were a winner eleven to four over the Cubbies. Oakland three, Texas two. The Yankees were a winner seven to two over Boston. Right now they're winning. The they're losing the game right now two to nothing over the Boston Red Sox. They're playing an afternoon game, of course. Uh, the Dodgers were a winner 11, uh, 8 to 3. Kansas City 2, Seattle 3, San Diego 1, 10, Arizona 1. This is part 1. Part 2, we're going to break down the month ends. NHL, the Hall of Fame game, and the recommendation of the day. Stick with us here on All Andy Alford on Clay Fan 2 3.